Yeah, get fucked, Magiel! Hey, what's up, guys? Leafly here with another video. I'm gonna be showing you 10 defensive techniques to up your defense game. A lot of people overlook defense. They always focus on, like, how much damage I can do. How 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 can I deal more damage? How do I d d deal the more damage? But defense is a very important aspect of this game. And if you don't die, you can deal more damage. So what better fight than to showcase and tell you guys about defense than Magliel and Golanza, the hellscape that is this fight. So first off, number one, the difference between guard and perfect dodge. So when you're guarding, basically you never want to use perfect guard. It's, it's pretty bad. It, what it does is it staggers the enemy and it occurs when you hit the guard button at the right time right when the attack is about to hit you. It's incredibly risky uh, because you can't use some of the tech that we'll explain in, in the future. And all it does is add a little bit of blue bar, which is basically useless. However, perfect dodge gives you iframes. So now you're invincible for like a pretty good period of time, especially when you spec into it and you tech into it. And I highly recommend you tech into it, especially if you're playing melee. First tech I'm going to show you guys is the guard dodge option select tech. And this is my bread and butter. It should be yours too. Every single person I've showed this to, their, their gameplay has increased drastically just from knowing this. It's, it's like those GBF players don't want you to know about this. This one trick. So what you want to do with this is you hold guard and then you dodge. And by doing so, you combine aspects of both defenses. So the block is going to go off and then you can dodge out of it to try to get a perfect, perfect dodge. And this keeps you relatively safe, even from threats that you can't see. Hold, hold guard, dodge at the time that you are trying to perfect dodge. So if you miss the timing and you perfect dodge too late, you will instead block. As you can see, it saved me a bunch right there. You can also do this tech while you're running. And all you would do is you would tap dodge real quick as you move. So you just tap it and give it a little dodge. But you can just hold it. Either one is good. Depends on the situation you're in. Tech number three is the attack guard tech. And this is when you really want to go full send. So say you want to attack Alonzo, you want to go full send on him. You can just start attacking him and you're holding guard. And when he hits you, you'll guard it. And you can throw in a couple of those perfect perfect dodges in there. And this will help you out so much if you play melee. It depended on your guard value. So if you have problems with, with it, you can actually you can actually increase your guard value through sigils. Number four, this is huge. This is another important tech, especially if you play melee and you're fighting these really, really hard fights. So number four is stepping into the parry. And anything that's like kind of instant, I just call it a parry. You're basically looking. You're looking for spots that you can actually perfect dodge into to give you invincibility windows. So for instance, see, I see that. I dodge into it, get the perfect dodge window. I can attack. And then I get out. Using the uh, dodge, using the dodge guard option select. I'm out of there. Looking for another pick. Here's one right here. Oh, too late for that one. Oh, I got that one. So then I go back in and then use guard dodge to get out. Here's another case. Doop, 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 bam. And then go for it. Tip number five. A lot of people don't know this, but you can air dodge. And it also works with, with perfect... It also works with perfect dodging, as you can see I did there. I don't really recommend jumping, though, unless you have to jump over a mechanic. Like, uh, kind of like those those gay bald rings. Then you can dodge if you need to. Tip number six is remember that guard is your best friend. If you ever get super pressured, just hold guard. Hold guard down and then slowly move around with your dodges. So you can reposition, catch your breath, re regain your focus, and then you're going back into it. Again, you're backing off, backing off. As you can see, it's relatively safe because I have block up. So even if she throws stuff at me, I'm still blocking. And tip number seven, Potion Hoarder is really, really good. With very minimal investment, it, it only costs, it'll only 15 levels, so you can achieve it with a single sigil, a level 15 sigil, which is a five. If you have a five sigil, level 15, you will be able to have Potion Hoarder. And that gives you eight small po pots six max pots and and six blue pots 
also three revives that you can use like this. And also a part about Potion Hoarder, you can actually use potions while you're in your SBA animation. SBA, Ogi, Ultimate. You can use it during those animations. You can do it while you're attacking. And you can even pot while you're being juggled. So you see, I just keep potting. Like, I'm being juggled right now. I'm still potting. <laughs> so you can use it in a lot of those cases where you're being juggled and you don't want to die. And also a little known fact about blue potions is that they actually give you a lot of honors when you use them. And they also give you Link. So sometimes you'll see us, we, we just spam blue potions at the very beginning of a fight. <laughs> Tip number eight. Ogi iframes. So your SBA, your ult, your Ogi, whatever you want to call it, gives you iframes. So it's really good if you're caught in a tight spot. So for instance, right now, because I don't know how to block that thing. So that's actually just going to completely reset the fight. And also stuns the enemy a little bit. So it's really, really nice for having a little breather if you need to get out. Tip number nine, camera positioning. Tilting your camera up slightly will help you have a better idea of death and where things are. It makes it a lot easier to dodge these kinds of things. So now you know where they are. So if you uh, change your camera settings, you can actually tilt the screen up a little bit. It helps you to see when you're in a defensive phase. I still use the regular camera. I still use the regular camera unless it's uh, I'm specifically doing like a defensive phase, like the enemies uh, in their overdrive. Uh, and for tip number 10 is Stout Heart Sigil Blocking. So Stout Heart actually gives you a lot of defense. Let's see at... Let's see, it's, uh, it's 15 levels. Gives you 20 defense and also, so it's only an investment of a sin single sigil because if you have one level 5 sigil, it'll be 20%. So it's lo level 15, you level it. Um, gives you 20% defense and grants stout heart, which gives you more defense. So it's really, really good uh, in cases that you have to defend. You can use it sort of as a block if, if you really need it. So I'll give a little example here. As you can see, it reduces the damage you take heavily. Let me get hit by like that axe and show you. Oh God, look how much damage it did. As you can see, see it makes you very tanky. You can use it in, a, in, in cases where you really need, you really know you're about to get hit. You just pop it real quick. But of course, be careful because of that. So it's not invincible, but it's good for tanking like small things that are coming your way. And lastly, we'll be going into a defensive sigils showcase. So we're going to show off all the different kinds of defensive sigils that you could get. So we'll take a look over here. Here are your main defensive sigils. So you've got, let's first talk about Aegis and Garrison. So Aegis, Aegis grants you HP proportion in proportion to your maximum health. And as you can see, it goes up pretty high at 45 at like plus 80% of your maximum health. So it can be pretty, pretty decent. Usually a lot better than just flat HP. Like flat HP will give you like what at level 50 gives you 10,000. Let's see how much HP I have. I have 30,000. So, so I have 30,000 HP already. A level 15 Aegis will give me 35% of that. So you're already talking at 35%, you're already talking like over, sorry, over 10,000 HP. And if you run the same thing, then you're running what? 2,600. So definitely get ages if you're having trouble with your HP pool. Other things that are really, really good. So these guard, these guard abilities, like guard payback, you have guard payback, you've got precise resilience. These are for perfect guard. I don't recommend them because again, I talked to you earlier about how guard is not good, um, but there is one that is good and that is improved guard. And improved guard actually increases the amount of guard that you do have. Well, rather, it decreases the amount of damage that your guard takes. And as you can see at level 30, minus 50% is pretty substantial. Improved dodge is another one that is incredibly important. And what that does is give you more dodges. At uh, level 14, you have four extra dodges that you can do. And at 15, it makes it gives you more iframes when you dodge. That doesn't really affect your perfect dodging, but it does make it harder for you to get hit if you do mess up. Now, the really, really good ones you want are these nimble ones. Um, nimble defense is pretty nice because it just increases your defense flatly and also recovers some HP when you do a perfect dodge. And I don't recommend uh, dodge payback, which increases your attack 
when you dodge, it can be pretty good if you're playing melee and you're basically looking for a dodge before you actually deal damage. It does give you 30%, 30% attack. It could be pretty decent as a replacement for some attack power. But again, I don't really like having to rely on that. I want to be able to do damage whenever I can. So that's why I don't really take that personally. What I do really, really like is Nimble Onslaught. Sorry, Nimble... This is the one I really like, Nimble Onslaught. Nimble Onslaught gives you SBA gauge every time you perfect dodge and skill cooldown, 5%, 5%. But the big thing is at max rank, which is level 30, which uh, is going to take you two sigils, uh, sub sigils, gives you three seconds of additional invincibility, which is, I mean, as melee, that's a lot of damage. So I really like having maxed out nimble onslaught especially on melees and here we go we have portion hoarder again make sure you pick up potion hoarder and you've also got guts and auto revive which are your do not die abilities uh i personally prefer guts because it doesn't have like the long animation but auto revive actually recovers hp so it kind of depends on which one you you want this one for more this one is more offensive guts is more offensive because you can just pot up to like heal instantly with potion hoarder or auto revive is a little more defensive because it keeps you down However, there is one problem with auto revive. You can get rezzed into another attack and just instantly die. So for instance, you die during Skyfall, like before Skyfall, and you're auto reviving, you can just be standing there and then you just stand up and get hit by Skyfall and instantly die. Now, our last defensive uh, special mention is going to be Steady Focus, and that gives you just flat defense. Um, it boosts defense while you're charging attack, gives you like a lot of defense. So it's really, really good to use when you're charging. Uh, really, really good on like Cagliostro, for instance, because Cagliostro is not very really mobile while she's charging her ball. And finally, a little defense commentary as I fight the most defensively stressful fight in the game. So here we go. There we go. That movement while blocking saved me there. And I have to re regain a little bit. If I had improved guard, actually, I would be in a less of a bad spot right here. So I'm going to go in. Get the perfect dodge there. Now I'm attacking. See these invincibility frames really coming in clutch. Hop out. Potion while I'm hurt. While I'm in stun. There, there it is again. The uh, option select saving me there. Just going to hop away slowly. Oh, And potion horner for the... Res there. Alright, for realsies now. Now that I showed off. I'm trying to get all the tips in. There we go. Getting some damage off here. I'm gonna get the flip and I'm gonna immediately back off. Got the got another one there. As you can see, I stepped into that one. Overdrive there. As you can see there, I'm always looking for a dodge, so, so I have a big damage window. Dodge out. Use that pot while I'm stunned. Now here, my shield is down. So I'm going to SBA, actually. Because I'm in a really bad spot. I can no longer option select... I can no longer option select guard or hop away with guard. So I'm going to SBA there so I can recover some of my guard. So I'm actually going to step into that to get the iframes. And then I can actually charge them for a bit. That was a little bit late, so I'm going to back off. Hope we can get another one. There we go, got another one. See, holding guard there protected me. Get that in, get back in there. I'm always looking. I'm always keeping my eye out for an opportunity. Perfect. The flurry off here, and then I'm gonna back off. Because so I know that my shield is running out. I'm just gonna slowly back away. I could have jumped into that. Get back here. So it's kind of a dance, especially when you're playing solo. It's a little your turn, my turn sort of a thing. So now it's like their turn where I can get Yep, now it's my turn. So this is a really good one to show you the camera angle. So like, it's really hard to see a lot of these attacks unless you actually tilt the camera slightly up. 
because it's hard to gauge depth when you're looking straight at something. So here I'm actually gonna like look for... Like this is really dangerous. So I'm actually gonna walk into that wheel to get invincibility. Now I'm a little safe, can reposition. Holding my block because I don't know what's going on. Okay, it's this thing. So I'm actually gonna tilt my camera a little bit. And then that way I can see more of the battlefield. You can jump these if you want. Here comes the gable. See, I was able to see it because I had the screen tilted. That's camera control right there. And then with the transient, dodge out. Another good opportunity to go back in. I saw that. So you can actually turn your enemy's attacks into, into invincibility for you. See? I jumped into that on purpose so that I could get my attacks going. I'm gonna use my SBA frames here. As you see, like, I was covered. I was covered in attacks. And now I'm safe because they're all cleared. Also recovered my shield from that. I used that circle that Maggie all dropped on me for another window. The option select saving me there. Using the option select dodge there to like back out. Got my damage window back out. Got another one, go back in. See how I use the more predictable one in order to, to DPS there? I use the more predictable one to give me the iframe so I can keep attacking. Here comes the gate ball. Got my camera tilted up, ready to ready to intercept that. Now I can go straight for him. Got another invincibility, so I'm gonna buff here. Now I can attack him here. I'm gonna back out a little bit. Have a little bit too much heat here. I could have also SBA'd, but I had my ult, so... Actually, my shield is kind of low, so I'm gonna go ahead and SBA. Which will regen my shield a bit, since I can't be hurt during this. I'm gonna go right back onto the offensive, get the break here. Now! I took the predictable dodge there in order to go back in. <clears throat> I'm gonna back off a little bit, use my healing ability. I can. As you can see there, the options to like coming in clutch again. It is so clutch. Unreal how good it is. And he's dead. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching my defense guide. If you liked it, please check out the other videos if you want some more tips on just general tips on how to, how to play Grand Blue Fantasy. I play this game a lot. I stream it on Twitch too, twitch.tv slash leaflet. And uh, I'm going to make more videos coming up soon. If there's anything that you want to see, uh, please give it a comment down below so I can see what you want. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. See you guys later. Bye-bye.